So about a month ago, I talked about how you can build and develop your own online course. And that was in episode number 151. And we're going to continue that theme. It's all about creating revenue generating assets. And I felt that online courses is one of the best ways to do that. And now on the program, I've got an emergency room doctor who actually retired from medicine to develop his own online course and to get into that industry, which is worth estimated over $350 billion. If you want to create your online course and you want to get some inspiration and some motivation, you want to listen to this episode. My interview with Dr. Chester Zoda on this episode of Bootstrap MD. Hey guys, this is Dr. Mike Lumang. Welcome to another edition of Bootstrap MD. We have been talking about passive income. Uh, if you've been listening to the podcast lately, I tried to teach you guys about building avenue, av assets, try to build more assets, revenue generating assets, RGA. And one of the passive income streams that you can do is having online courses. I actually talked about this a few episodes ago. And today, we're in luck. We have an online course expert, and he's an emergency room physician. And actually, guys, he actually left uh, medicine. Uh, we're gonna come, we'll talk about kind of his story because it's pretty interesting and exciting, and how he did this and how he did it through creating online courses. You may have heard of him. You may have seen him on social media. Uh, he's been helping other doctors and actually all healthcare professionals start up their own courses and making it for making really good money, building this passive income streams. I don't want to, I don't want to take the, uh, you know, give, take the, take the cat out of the bag, so to speak. So I'm going to have you listen to him today. We've got on the show, Dr. Chester Zoda, Dr. Chester, how are you doing today? Hey, doing good. Uh, pleasure hey, to be here. Awesome. Awesome. Um, you actually have been, your name has been coming about lately. Um, I've had some people who've asked me to have you on my program. They say, hey, do you know anything about this Chester Zoda? Uh, I guess you also go by Dr. Digital. So who, who is this guy? I mean, seeing on social media. So I said, I got to have this guy on. I want to find out about his story. And just, you know, you don't see too many people, too many doctors now out of medicine and now teaching digital courses. So this is pretty awesome. Um, thank you for coming on. I know you're pretty busy. So tell, tell us about your story. You started as a emergency room doctor. And how did that become now becoming a educator on online courses? Yeah, it's a, it's a pleasure to be here. And to be quite honest, over the last few years, I've just been kind of keeping it on the down low in terms of social media, mostly just because I tend to be a much more private individual and a, a bit more reserved and most of my time is actually focused on my team now as we're starting to grow and serve and to ensure student success. So I actually spend most of my time working with full-time full -time clients. But yeah, I'm happy to be on the show. Um, in terms of my story, uh, I essentially started, I've always had like an entrepreneurial spirit and I've always wanted to, I've always had a passion for teaching and serving others with the expertise that I had. But I remember like back in medical school, I just saw... Um, uh, especially like how inefficient the entire system was. We would have lecturers, they would have to rent out a lecture room just to deliver a talk. They would have to commute um, just to go to work or even go to uh, academic conference. And at the same time, um, these are a lot of doctors simply just undervalue their own expertise, right? We go through years of schooling, we are told we're not good enough. That, and sometimes we even feel like imposters. But the truth is there's a giant market out there that's starving for our expertise and can really, um, it's a really underserved market. And if we can simply package the expertise that we already have into the online world, we can make massive impact, but also a lot of uh, a, a, a highly profitable income. And so in terms of my own story, um, people say that you only change out of inspiration or desperation. And for me, it was uh, definitely out of desperation because 
back during the pandemic, I was working 80, 100 hour work weeks, like three night shifts every single, every single week. I'm an emergency physician. So you can, a lot of, uh, or your audience probably can relate, but um, I was just so burnt out. And uh, I see a lot of my seniors, a lot of my colleagues, um, they would just retire. Some of them even just, you know, um, they didn't make it when they were serving on the front lines of medicine. And so I realized just how, how short-term life really can be. And I started thinking ahead and looking for ways where I can generate side income and eventually either cut back on my clinical hours or even replace my clinical income. And um, at first it took, it took some time to get started because I didn't know what I was doing, but the more I um, ventured off into the online education space, the better the results I got. And as my colleagues started noticing how fast I was growing, they asked me if they, I can help them do the same. And that's really how this entire thing uh, kind of just transpired. And uh, the more I started teaching them our methods, the better results they started getting. And now we have the digital doctor program serving over 350 students uh, all around the world that are packaging the expertise that they already have into online courses so that they can have the freedom that they deserve, these healthcare providers. Now we talk about in medicine, you know, um, see one, do one, teach one. So with your first course, and you don't have to give away your niche or anything like that, um, maybe you can talk about some of the struggles or maybe just hit it right out of the park as soon as you launch your course. Yeah. So when it comes to struggles, a lot of doctors, they think that you need like the perfect idea that's um, that's never been done before, or maybe they have a lot of, they just have a lot of delusions when it comes to what really makes a good business and what really makes a great business person. And uh, an online course or a side income, it's kind of like a side business that you, you essentially start. A lot of doctors would think, hey, just because someone else in the market has done it, that means I can't do it. Oh, the market is too saturated. Oh, all the information is out there for free. Oh, um, why, do, why don't I just search on PubMed? Why don't I just search, you know, go to the library, rent out a book? And why, why would anyone buy my course? And so um, those are a lot of limiting beliefs that I also struggled through in the early stages. In fact, uh, I always share this with my own students, but one of my biggest limiting beliefs was actually my accent. And um, I was just super insecure with uh, just speaking in general. I'm, I'm sure like a lot of us can relate when we hear our voices again in a recording or something, it just sounds a bit off. And uh, this thing held me back for years. I, I just would never publish anything that I created, even though like my students would tell me they're good. I would just never publish it online. And um, it really held me back uh, a lot of the a lot of the years. But those, I would say, those are my early struggles um, until I actually, you know, kind of cracked the code and were, was able to create online courses on repeat. As a doctor, I wasn't used to asking for help, especially when it came to subjects outside of medicine. But then I found PhysicianCoaches.com. In an instant, I found hundreds of experts to help me in all aspects of life, on areas I was afraid to ask. Dealing with burnout, starting a side gig, money management, even help with my marriage. And the best part? Nearly all experts are physicians themselves. After reading their profile and a quick chat, I knew I found the right mentor for me. At physiciancoaches.com, help from professional colleagues is just a click away. Now, let's talk about online courses because there are places out there where you can uh, create courses like udemy.com, I'm sure you're familiar with and all these, but then you look at the prices, they're like 10 bucks you know, 15 bucks. And so how do you, what do you tell your students when they see this? You know, are you charging 10 or $15? Or are you charging a lot more for your courses? Yeah, that's a good point. So a lot of, um, so that's not the market that you want to play in, right? Um, it's it's kind of like what you mentioned in the book. It's about positioning, being the position physician. If you want to, if you, you need to be able to charge your worth. And the first thing that, the first hurdle that a lot of doctors need to go through is that they need to realize that just the, by the fact that they went through medical school, just based on the fact that they have years of medical expertise under their belt, that, the, that what they have in their head is actually valuable in the market. And uh, this is a completely, it's a completely different shift because a lot of us, 
when we're working like 80 hour work weeks or in the hospital or the clinic, we're just surrounded by other doctors, other nurses, other healthcare providers that we almost feel like a fish in the, in the ocean. We just don't value water at all, right? A fish in the ocean does not value water. And um, in the same way, we just don't value our expertise. But yet, on the other hand, on the other hand, um, there's a giant market out there that's starting for our expertise. And the analogy that I like to use is, imagine if you were starting a course on English, right? If you were trying to teach English. In the middle of America, not a lot of people would actually want a course on English, right? Most of us can speak it uh, relatively well. But what they don't realize is that if we simply plop this person out, like even if they fail their SATs, as long as they can speak uh, colloquial English, and we just pop them in the middle of China, suddenly there's a starving market out there that's starving for their expertise that they can really help. It's completely underserved and they can make a giant impact. They can change lives in the middle of China. And it's all about positioning, which is something um, that you mentioned. It's, um, it's positioning the expertise that you already have into an underserved market. And um, that's exactly what we have our students do. So based on that positioning, we can then determine a pricing offer that stat helps you stand apart from the rest of the herd. We're not trying to we're not trying to play the low game where we're charging ten to twenty dollars, right? If that's all we're if I mean that if that's what all we're doing, then it would take us a thousand courses each month just to make a ten k salary, right? That's not what we're doing. That's a lot of that's a that's a lot of hurdles. That's a lot of mistake um, mess. And uh, at the same time, you attract. Uh, who you are. You attract lower quality customers. And so we teach our students to package their courses at anywhere from $1,000 US up to 5,000, maybe even 10,000 US. And uh, these are courses combined with uh, different consulting offers that they want to include um, and so on and so forth. And all of this is like inside our program. So I don't want to bore you guys with the details. Yeah. That's awesome. And I, I, and I have been saying that for years that doctors do devalue you know their, their price and you know if your course is ten dollars you know and you think you want to retire you know you want to make ten thousand dollars a month well that's a thousand students and plus you'll probably do a crappy job <laughs> in serving them so i've always felt that it's important to charge what you're worth because really it is a win-win because the more you charge the more you can serve them i mean we like we want to help everybody but we know that, you know, we're all limited by 24 hours, 365 days out of the year. And, and like you said, if you're charging $10, then that means that you think that information you have is worth about $10. And so why would I do that? I mean, it's like, it's like free advice, right? How, many, how, many, uh, how much is free advice worth? It's, it's free. You might give them the, the, the keys to, to, to success but they're not going to listen to you if you're going to be charging so cheap. So I'm glad you brought that up. Another thing that people have some limiting beliefs is you mentioned your accent is I don't want to show my face on camera. You know, I don't want to be out there. I'm a professional uh, professional and uh, I don't want my face out there. What do you say to those people? Cause I know you deal with a lot of healthcare professionals, mostly doctors. Um, how do you how, how do you instruct them? Yeah, I mean that that is a really good point. So, I mean, before I started even working or like putting my face on camera, it definitely feels a bit awkward. I totally understand that. I mean, I was a shy kid growing up, and it's very easy to tell yourself these kind of stories um, that oh, I'm 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 this person. I'm a shy kid, and therefore I don't put myself on camera. I'm a shy kid, and therefore I don't do any public speaking. I'm a shy kid and therefore I'm going to sit at the corner, not present in the ward rounds, not present at this academic conference, even though it's a fantastic opportunity. It's very easy to tell ourselves these limiting stories um, from the past that I am this, therefore I am not that. But change comes from stepping outside your comfort zone. Because if you don't change, if you change nothing, then nothing changes. And if you want different results, then you're going to have to do something different, right? Because the choices that led to where you are today um, well, the life that you're living today are based are the consequence of the choices that you made in the past. And so this is something that I always um, try to keep in mind, because if I want to have achieve, achieve something new or something different, it doesn't have to be something big. It could just be something different. I would have to do something new. And so 
I realized at that point that, hey, I'm not going to let this hold me back. I mean, I love teaching. I really like serving other people. I like helping other people with the knowledge that I have. It makes me feel, it makes me feel like I'm empowering them with something that they didn't even know. And it makes me feel like I'm helping them like solve puzzles, solve problems. That brings so much fulfillment to me. And so I'm not going to let my own deficiencies or my own character traits hold me back from adding more value into the marketplace and into my students' hands. And so when I just made that clear to myself, then it was very simple. It's, it's, it's not a character defect. It's more like a skill that I need to acquire, whether it's public speaking, speaking in front of camera. And I'm not saying like I'm the, I'm the best. I'm not like, uh, like some, some Kardashian on the, on the internet or the social media, right? I'm just, I'm just a guy that, you know, was able to make a decent size of living, replacing my clinical income and leave medicine completely. And uh, I have a story to share. And for those that want to listen, um, then I'd, I'd love to share that story. And so um, that's one thing to keep in mind. Like whenever you want to do something new, you got to step outside your comfort zone. You just got to you just gotta develop those skill sets. And um, that's also part of the reason I love working with doctors because they a lot of them have that mindset, right? None of us kind of came out of our mother's womb knowing how to do brain surgery or knowing how to, you know, patch up a hernia. None of us, all of us acquired those skill sets throughout medical school, throughout our years of training, even things like public speaking, even things like organization, time management, soft skills like that. Public speaking, speaking in camera is just another one of them. And, uh, and yeah, and, and in today's day and age, it's like without those skill sets, you'll just be left behind. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna, we're going to go over some self-limiting beliefs just with you know people who are listening to this who say, hey, I want to start an online course. And but you know, another self-limiting belief is it can be really expensive. So how much how much does it cost to create an online course? Do you have to do you feel like you need the best camera, the best equipment? And also how much time do you should you devote to creating an online course? What do you tell your students? Yeah, that is a really good question. Um, in terms of capital, it really doesn't take that much. I mean, let's check it out. Like right now, me and Dr. Mike are just hanging out over a Zoom call. We, we're using a webcam, probably from our computer, zero dollars. We're using an internet connection, probably zero dollars. If not, just go to your local Starbucks. I mean, there's, there's really no excuse. I mean, I'm using a more professional microphone, but you can just use the one on your phone or your computer and you're good to go. And the true beauty about the internet and the true beauty about online software is that you can really start a wildly profitable seven, eight figure business with everything just from your laptop. You get time freedom, location freedom, financial freedom, straight out of the gate from the laptop. And uh, you don't need any expensive equipment. We're not trying to be like Steven Spielberg or James Cameron and direct the next avatar, right? We're not trying to do something crazy like that. We're just trying to share the expertise, package what's inside our head into the online world. And so in terms of capital, it's really, you can start with zero dollars. It's just about the desire to help more people and translate what you already know into, um, into an online format that does not require your time, which leads me to the second question, which is how much time does it require? Well, a lot of programs out there that teach you, you know, how to do online courses or Amazon FBA, or um, let's face it, like if a doctor wants to build side income, there's, there's a few typical uh, options that people tend to talk about. There's real estate. Well, you're going to need a huge car starting capital just to invest in real estate. Uh, you're going to have to have some skills in order to scout the properties, in order to determine what's a good fit and what's not, because that's actually where, um, that's actually where most of the value is in determining what is a good investment and what's not. And most of us aren't going to develop that overnight. We're going to have to commute. We're going to have to file in paperwork. It's a lot of maintenance, right? You might even need a manager if you're, if you're, building a war chest of real estate investments. On the other hand, there's like things like stocks investing in the S&P 500, but that only returns an 8% return on investment each year, 8%, 8 to 11%, right? And so then there's things like crypto, which is high risk, high reward. It's basically, um, uh, you know, it's some, some people might even say it's gambling, right? And um, there's a lot of research. It's a lot of energy required. It's a lot of time, but there's not a lot of... Um, side incomes that you can start that does not require any of your time. Even if you wanted to start a official business, like a brick and mortar private practice, you're going to need staffing costs. You're going to need to hire, manage people, fire people. 
then there's payroll, then there's also the rent. It's a lot of starting capital. But in the digital world, there's not a lot of starting capital that's necessary to start an online business. Software, like the one we're using right now, Zoom, is inexpensive. In fact, it's completely free. And so things like PowerPoint slides, completely free. Um, recording software, you know, completely free. And so the quick answer for you <laughs> is that it really takes you $0 to start an online business. Uh, there's really, and, and compared to a lot of other online businesses out there, things like Amazon FBA, drop shipping, those require a lot of starting capital. It requ- requires you to have stock. It requ- requires you to have inventory. Whereas with a digital product, such as an online course, zero. It's just, you can patch it up with Google Slides and then launch that online course within the first one or two weeks. Yeah, I mean, you don't even need to, I mean, you don't even need PowerPoint. Like you said, you could just do Google Slides. Like you didn't have enough money. I hopefully you have enough money to buy PowerPoint. You don't have to be, well, buy a lot of stuff, especially when it comes to, you know, information, using your existing knowledge. And that gets me to talking about like niches. So a lot of people say, you know, I want to do this niche and I'm a doctor. So naturally we're going to gravitate towards health niches, but your students have done a lot of different niches, right? Outside of health. Is that correct? Yeah. Yeah. You want to expand on that? Like for example, I don't, you don't have to give away niches, but maybe overall, what type of niches are they in? Yeah, that's a good example. So, um, We have doctors helping doctors. We have doctors helping patients. We have doctors helping medical students. It's really all about the, at the end of the day, it's all about the expertise that you're bringing onto the table. And so a lot of doctors, they would just teach what they're uh, doing. We have a student that's teaching things like hormone replacement therapy. Before working with me, she she had no, um, you know, she, she had all these different ideas. Like she was about to start a book. She was about to start consulting and she was charging exactly what you were mentioning, like $10, maybe a few hundred dollars for a consultation. But with a consultation, it requires your trading of time for money. It's, it's a one-to-one kind of input. And so as long as you're trading your time for money, you're never going to uh, break free from that system. And so we, what, what we helped her do is essentially package her course so that she's helping, um, I, I believe it's young females or, or middle-aged females with hormone replacement therapy, simply packaging the expertise that she already had through decades of practice into an online course. And now it's generating, it's now, now it's an asset a cash flow asset that produces income for her, even while she's at the clinic, even while she's um, traveling the world, spending time with her family and doing the things that she loves, even while she sleeps. And so that's an example of a doctor helping more so patients or like the general public. But we've also had doctors helping doctors. Uh, some, uh, a few of our there, there was a, one of my very successful students. He basically teaches other doctors how to start their own private practice, their own dream practice. And uh, like just, um, and yeah, like right in, within the first 30 days, he was already doing 30,000 US. And back then he was still charging 1500, right? So $1,500 for 20 students in one month, that's 30,000. And so ever since then, it's just been growing and growing. He's recently increased his price to 3,500. So you can imagine the numbers he's generating there as well. And I remember like, it was very exciting watching him grow because with, with just within the first 30 days, um, he was already generating a 2,000% return on investment, which means $1 in, $20 out in a month. You're not going to get that in the stock market. You, you barely get 8% in the stock market. You barely get like 10, 20% in the real estate if you know what you're doing. And that's a lot of work too. And so if you're getting like a 20X, a 2,000%, not just each year, but each Um, every 30 days, that compounds month over month because you can simply reinvest those profits. $1 in, $20 out, $20 in, $400 out, $400 in, you get the point. And so it just creates a snowball that really, it takes a little momentum to get started, to push the snowball up the hill. But once it works, everything clicks, then the snowball, just uh, the momentum just carries itself and just generates income whether you're sleeping, traveling the world, spending time with your children, doing the things you love. As you know, I founded a a site called physiciancoaches.com. There's lots of different coaches out there. But interestingly, a very small percentage have online courses. Uh, You know, they're they're coaching. They love coaching. Um, I'm sure you've seen that too. Uh, What what do you have to say to them about using online course 
as a, a source of extra passive income? Yeah, so it really depends. Uh, like at the end of the day, we don't work with everybody. And this program or like online courses in general isn't for everybody, right? And so it really depends on their their course um, or, or their consulting offer, right? Um, I believe that especially in the in the today's day and age, if you're offering any like advice, expertise, knowledge, information, that can easily be packaged into an online course format. Um, especially in today's age, like a lot of us, we listen to podcasts, we listen to uh, audio books, we watch YouTube videos, we watch educational courses. And um, because of that, a digital course is a very easy to consume format for the average listener or for your student. And I know for myself, I've personally invested over uh, $120,000, $150,000 US just in 2021 alone on my own education. And uh, that's the way I learned the best, because if you really want to learn from the best of the best and the specialized knowledge, um, you just got to invest in yourself. And um, most courses, uh, sorry, most coach, coaches, most physician coaches know that because that's where their student, uh, clients come from, right? They're, they're willing to invest in themselves as well. And so if you were able to just simply, um, but the problem with that model, the, the coaching model is that it requires your time. So no matter what you do, you only have 24 hours in a day, just like you said. And it uh, it's not really positioning yourself in a chance to succeed. Because just like the uh, billionaire investor Warren Buffett says, like unless you find a money, way to make money while you sleep, you will always work until the day you die. And so even as a physician coach, you might be a bit more leveraged because you're using dig- uh, the online world, but you're still trading hours for dollars. You're still trading your flesh for money, essentially. And so with an online course, though, you are able to package the information so that it is independent from your from your human, you know, from your human flesh. And so it's it just exists on the online world and it just it's able to remove yourself from the delivery of uh, the information and the knowledge that you already have while still getting your clients the results that they want. And uh, we see this happen a lot outside the medical space. Uh, I know because like I've been a I've been a speaker or like a member or in multiple seven, eight figure masterminds. And I know that a lot of coaches, especially in things like the fitness space or like the investing space or things like the like at the health and wellness, the relationships kind of space, all of them started off as coaches when they work with clients one on one, but transitioned into an online course model and they were able to um, uh, they were able to remove themselves, save up all their time so that it's no longer dependent on their time, and generate income that is no long that that is actually scalable, right? That's actually another benefit of uh, digital products because you just need to set it and forget it, create it once, and it, you can sell infinite copies. And right. so there's a lot of benefits with online courses. I can keep going on and on and talk your ear off, but uh, <laughs> I mean, that's, that's the name of the game. You know, the, is, is the business scalable, you know, can you go? And, you know, if you are having your own clients and you're helping that, that's great. But unless you increase your price, you're not going to be able to increase your, your hours. So there is a finite amount that you're, you're going to make until you realize that things like courses, things like, you know, um, Producing live events or uh, live live group coaching is really going to help you scale. So let's talk about it because you really light up when you talk about your students. You want to share? Uh, you mentioned the the one doctor who sells how to start your private practice and you know making a nice living doing that. Can you share any other success stories from your students? Yeah, so it really depends on um, what what niches you're talking about because we've worked with people like medical students, medic, like I remember one girl worked with me back when she was a medical intern. Now she's obviously um, entering residency and she started a program helping female physicians. We have doctors that are helping students uh, enter medical school, like pass their pre-med admissions. Uh, we have, um, I guess the best way to categorize it, just like uh, the, <laughs> The best way to categorize it is really doctors helping doctors, doctors helping patients, doctors helping medical students. So with doctors helping doctors, typically it's like private practice, helping doctors invest in real estate, helping doctors um, um, start a certain business opportunity, helping doctors 
um, pay off the student loans. That is a that is a very starving niche, right? Mm-hmm. Um, helping doctors with certain things like um, financial freedom, uh, other other uh, income opportunities. Then we have um, doctors helping uh, doctors helping medical students with anxiety, stress, exam prep, um, pre med admissions, and uh, those are the big ones. Those, those are the big ones. And then we have doctors helping patients, things like weight loss. So we have a, we have a, we have a gentleman. He started a course helping um, middle-aged women lose weight without exercise in under 30 days. And so a lot of like this, this is a, a diet that he essentially pioneered um, without giving his entire course away, but he essentially pioneered some sort of diet that can help middle-aged women lose that weight in uh, 30 days. And then there's also, Things like um, helping patients, like the hormone replacement therapy example that I shared just now. There's dementia patients. There's uh, it just goes on and on. I really, it, it depends on whatever, whatever, um, whatever you're passionate about, whatever niche you're passionate about serving. That's where I typically tend to go first, and I work really closely with my students because it's it's not really about oh which market is the most profitable or which market is has the most demand. You can make any course idea work, any, there's, there's a huge market out there, but it all comes down to what you're personally passionate about and what you want to teach. And uh, a lot of doctors don't even have the self-awareness to realize that, which is why step one of our entire program is to get crystal clear on who you want to serve and what you want to teach, because all of us have something that's going to, all of us is just one course idea away from say a million dollar passive income each year. And so it's really just a period of self-reflection, introspection, thinking back on who I want to serve, what I want to teach. And that's where we, that's where all the magic really happens. I love it. I love it. it you know, it, it goes back to, you know, when you're saying it in terms of, of a niche is, you know, I like to think of it as like, who do you want to hang around with? You know, you know who do you want, want to help? Who have you historically helped? You know, many of us give quote free advice, you know, they ask us questions and, you know, we don't think of ourselves as an educator, but we have this knowledge. And I actually feel that if you have knowledge that can help somebody, that can make an impact in someone's life, all those examples will make tremendous impact in somebody's life. Then you actually, it is your duty <laughs> to get the word out, you know, and not just keep it to yourself. If you know it can help someone, you know, then I feel you really owe it to quote the world to let them know. And then getting paid more for it, you know, that's even better, right? So well, this has been great, Chester. I know uh, you've had a lot of success with your students. So how can someone listening to this, how can they get started? Sure. So I would say just join my free training. It's completely free. It talks more about the opportunity, like what this actually is, how our students are making like 10 to 20K per month passive income in 90 days or less, just by selling the expertise that they already have. Um, it talks more about like what the la- current landscape of the medical field is as well. So how this is essentially a $350 billion industry that a lot of doctors just don't know, right? Where a lot of doctors, I, I mean, I can only speak for myself, but when I was working in the emergency room with my colleagues, all of us are just so focused on the day and day. It's almost like surviving the paperwork, surviving the insurance, surviving the, surviving the patients. <laughs> and, uh, and, um, we just forget that there's a giant world out there, right? We have Amazon replacing Walmart in the commerce side of things. And then we have Netflix replacing Blockbuster in the entertainment side of things. And then we have Harvard Medical School slowly disintegrating, moving online. And so we're seeing the same transition happening in education. In 2022 alone, this year, e-learning, the e-learning economy is estimated to explode up to a $350 billion valuation. And so this is a giant opportunity that if you simply just, especially as doctors, we've already put in the groundwork. We've, we already went through medical school. We already went through years of training. There's so much that our patients are already paying us for, that our hospitals are already paying us for because of what's inside here. And so if we simply just package it onto the online world, we can really position ourselves to success, just like you mentioned, a revenue generating asset that creates this cash flow even while you're sleeping, even while you're at the hospital, even while you're spending time with your family, doing the things you love. And so if you're even just remotely interested about learning more about this opportunity, I just check out my website uh, at 
chesterzoda.com. And uh, I'm sure uh, Dr. Bike is also going to include some links as well. Um, I created a lot of my resources for free uh, on my blog as well. So you can learn more about this, see if it's a good fit. And if it is, I would highly encourage you to speak with uh, a member of our uh, specialist team because um, our applications are invite only and you can, you can't buy this pro like you can't join us or join our digital doctor community just from a checkout page. You can't, you can't do that. It's invite only because we want to make sure that every student that we bring on board, we can actually help and uh, are actually qualified for um, and actually qualified for our community. And so uh, yeah, I hope this, hope this was helpful and uh, valuable. Yeah, th this has been awesome, Chester. I think you, you know, if you have been considering getting an online course, you have it in your head, and you know this is a perfect opportunity. We'll leave a link here because you can go out and check out, see if it's right for you. Um, this has been great. Uh, you know, you were able to retire from medicine doing this, and now you help others to do so. Uh, any last minute words before we end the call today? No, it's been a it's been a pleasure being on this uh, podcast. I've been following Dr. Mike's content as well. Like back when I was just starting out, like it um, uh, seems like a long time ago, but um, I think I really like what Dr. Mike is doing because a lot of physicians, they just don't have this awareness that there's a huge world outside just the hospital or the clinic or the day-to-day -day grant, that there's a way to really generate passive income, that there's a way to not even just generate passive income, but like financial freedom, like replace your clinical income, enter non-clinical non careers, and uh, it really just starts with believing in yourself, like believing that you have what's, what it's worth. You've, you're, as a doctor, you are a hard worker. You have to be pretty intelligent. I mean, why don't, why don't we just give ourselves some of that credit and, um, and really put our expertise um, to work to help more people, but on our own terms, right? And so um, if you're watching this, I would highly encourage you, whether it's an online course, whether you're just interested in uh, generating uh, financial wealth, whatever it is, just take that first step just to learn a bit more, more about it. Um, and uh, it, it really can change your life because it's been true for myself and it's been true for my students. I've seen it firsthand and uh, it really just starts with belief. Awesome. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> that's, our, that's our time. <laughs> we edited it. I'll add this part. Chester, that was awesome. Again, uh, really appreciate you coming on the show. It's really excited to get to know you a bit more. And also just, I can tell by, you know, you're, you, you're an educator and you want to help other people know how to do this and invite them to this really exciting world about just sharing your knowledge and getting paid for it with others. But it really comes down to, you know, if you're listening to this, it really comes down to motivating yourself. You can, we can talk about it. We can, you know, research about it, but until we actually do it is when the really, the learning starts and to having a mentor behind you, showing you the ropes, giving you that shortcut to success. That really is the way for you to keep moving forward.